Hey Good Samaritan, welcome to our Tuesday recap. My name is Zach Pinnell, I'm the youth pastor here at Good Samaritan Church, and we're so glad that you are joining us today. Tuesday recaps are our chance for us to just let you know what's going on in the life of the church, as well as remind y'all what we talked about on Sunday. So, we hope that you enjoy our time together. You're probably wondering to yourself, what is this room? There's a computer behind me, there's a soundboard behind me. This is our live stream booth. This is in the back of the sanctuary. This is where we put together our live stream. There's people in here running audio and there's people running the video here and we're looking for more people to join our team. Not just in the booth but also to run slides and to run audio during the service. So if you're interested let me know and I'll get in contact with you. If you didn't know this is Holy Week. It started on Sunday with Palm Sunday and it continues on with Monday Thursday. On Thursday on Thursday, we'll have a video outlining and talking about what Monday Thursday is. What are we celebrating then? We invite you to join us on YouTube and Facebook at your leisure to go walk through that video service. We'll be taking communion, so make sure you have some elements available that you can participate in communion with. This year, Good Samaritan has the pleasure of hosting the Community Good Friday service put on by the Church of Valley Springs. The Church of Valley Springs is all the different pastors from the different churches coming together to put together a service in order that we can all worship together. This year, the Good Friday service will be held at Good Samaritan on Friday, April 2nd at noon. It will be both in person and available online. If you want to view online, please look at the link in the description. Then on Sunday, April 4th, we get to celebrate Easter. Easter is an amazing celebration. Christ is risen. He has defeated sin and death and has invited us into new life. Our Easter is going to look a tad bit different. Our service times are still at 9 o'clock and 1045. However, Children's Church is going to run for the full time. So parents, you can take your students right over to the kids' zone area and get them checked in. It will be there for the whole time. It will start there and they will end there in the kids' zone area. They will have their own special service. If you're a Good Samaritan regular attender, we want to invite you to come to the first service in order to make some more room in our second service for people who are visiting from our community. Easter is one of those days in which people come to church who may not normally come. We want to make sure we have space to receive them. Since we are still in COVID, we still have restrictions on how many people we can seat in the sanctuary. So because of that, we are inviting you, the people who come regularly, to Good Samaritan to come to the first service to worship. The first service on Easter still observes social distance policies with social distancing and the requirement to wear a mask. We ask that you maybe make a little sacrifice on Sunday so we can worship not just with y'all, but with other people who are coming to the church for the first time. On Sunday, Pastor Jed talked about the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem on the end of his last week. The people were yelling, Hosanna, Hosanna, and they're laying palm branches and their cloaks down before Jesus. And they're worshiping Jesus for who they thought he was going to be. A conquering king, one to overthrow Rome and restore Jewish rule. But Jesus didn't come to do that. No, Jesus came to save us from ourselves. Jed remind us that we are not to be worshiping God or Jesus for who we want him to be, but for who he is, one who defeated sin and death and invited us into new relationship with him. On Sunday, Pastor Jed asked people to indicate if they needed prayer, prayer to be saved for something or prayer to be saved to something. He wanted me to remind you that he is praying for all y'all. As we wrap up today, just to remind you, there are cards available in the office. They're also in your bulletins. There are invitations that you can give to your friends, to your family, to your neighbors, to invite them to come hear the message on Sunday. The message of Jesus who died and rose again and who came to save us all. We hope that you will join us on Sunday or Friday or even on Thursday. We hope to see you soon.